Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to 2A News Now, and I really appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. And here at 2A News Now, you get your 2A News straightforward and to the point, and no bullshit added in. YouTube has done some shady things in the past, but I think this one takes the cake. Six days ago, I made a video, and as of today, it has 700,000 views. And since I made that video, I've kept you guys in a loop on how well it's doing. I found out a couple of days ago, YouTube thinks that a lot of those views are fake. Early Sunday morning, when I went into my YouTube account, I got this message, and I'll put the three screenshots up so you guys can read them. Go ahead and pause the video, and take time to read them through. Yep, so that's what I'm dealing with. I've had videos taken down before. I've had videos kept up, but they removed the ads from them. I've got strikes on my channel. But never in my 10 years of making videos on YouTube have I ever seen anything like this. And it's not like through the years that I've made videos that I've never had videos do that well. And I'll post a screenshot of some of the videos I've got views on that are over 400, 500,000 views and into 600,000 views. Not including the one I'm talking about today. And not at one time did they ever question anything about the views on those videos. And if you read that, what I posted from YouTube, you can see it's a form letter. It's nothing specifically to me written by a person. If they don't think that all or some of the 700,000 views are not real, but what about the 24,000 likes? I would think a real person would have to hit the like button, wouldn't you? What about the almost 4,000 new subscribers that came from that video? Are those not real? Somebody has to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. What about the over 4,000 comments that were left on that video? Is all of that fake too as well? Of course not. Also in the description of that video, I left a link to the original video so people could go take a look at it for themselves and give some encouragement to the guy that it happened to. And when I watched that original video, it had a couple of thousand views. And I'll post it up on the screen. That video now has 130 thousand views. Are those 130,000 views on that guy's video not real? They watched my video, went over and watched his video, and then commented on his video. I work very, very hard on these videos. I spent hours of the day researching Second Amendment news, and then I have to record those videos. And for me, it's very, very tough to do so because when I talk on camera, I stutter over my words a lot. And that's why when you see the finished videos, there's a lot what some people call jump stops in it. And that's just me editing the videos because nobody wants to watch somebody stutter over their words continuously. Plus, I do it so much when I make the videos. I try to keep the videos to about three to four minutes long. The video would be twice as long as that. So it can take me an hour or two to edit those videos. And then you have to download those videos to YouTube. And you have to put a description in the description box. And then you're not done yet because then you have to make a thumbnail that's catchy that will catch the people's eye to get them to click on your video. And of course the title is very important too as well. And I think that's part of the reason why people clicked on that video and I have no resource to talk to anybody at YouTube. Once somebody reaches 100,000 subscribers, they're given a representative that they can call and talk to about any problems that they're having. And I'm close to 60,000 subscribers, so of course I don't have that. And like I said earlier, you can see that's just a form letter. There was nobody's name to it. There was no direct communication. That didn't come through an email. When I clicked on my channel, that's just what I saw. So I'm just waiting, and of course impatiently, trying to figure out what YouTube is gonna do. All I can tell you is I have done nothing wrong. I wouldn't even know how to gain the system and get more views. I just think it's another way that YouTube is coming after channels. And what they've done not only on that video, but all of my videos are right now not earning any revenue. When I click on that video and, and all of the videos, it says for the past three days that it's in processing. And there's nothing I can do. It's in YouTube's hands. And it's not all about the money. But for as long as I've been doing this, and as much as I put into these videos to get out to you guys, it's nice to be compensated a little bit. And I really hope the YouTube does the right thing and finds that there was no problem with those views. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts about the story in the comment section down below. And it goes without saying, 
I appreciate everybody's support. You guys are always crushing it, liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting those post notifications, as you did so in that particular video and all the others. And I invite you guys back to see my next video.